Hey guys, this is Intuitive Anthony doing another YouTube video. It's been a while, I know. Um, I kind of got disenchanted with YouTube because I've been doing it for over three years. I have several videos that got really, really high numbers. And I know at the beginning of the year, they give a lot of new channels an opportunity to get good numbers. But I've been so disgusted because I've been doing it for three years. I almost got 4,000 watch hours, but I still need 400 subscribers. And I still haven't gotten a dime yet. Uh, sponsorship, uh, you know, partnership deals or whatever. I haven't gotten any of that stuff. So I'm, I'm really so, I'm sick of free labor. And as a black man in America, I am damn sure tired of free labor. So I'm a little bit disenchanted with YouTube. And I want to believe that it's a fair marketplace, but it doesn't seem to be that way. Anyway, I want to do a video about this coronavirus. Now, I see this coronavirus that everybody seems to be in a panic over as one of the plagues from Egypt. As an Israelite, and kind of doing my research and learning, and learning about, you know, the way the history was set up and the way that religions have moved across the earth and the way that, you know, the indigenous people of uh, uh, Israelites have been scattered through the slave ship, through the slave trade all over the world, not just America, but all the other nations. I was thinking about it. And this is one of the plagues of Egypt. Hush, beta. Dogs are going crazy because of the wind. It's kind of a harbinger. Um, it's a plague. It's the it's the pestilence plague of the horsemen. And do you notice that it's hitting all the nations consecutively? The only, and there was a comment I saw on a website. I won't give the website's name because I'm not you know adding to their pockets. I can't barely get paid in my own pockets. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, um, Idris Elba the I guess he's Nigerian. Uh, he's a, you know, dark skin, you know, a Nigerian that does movies. And now he's trying to do music, which nobody wants to hear. You know what I'm saying? Like, just shut up and do movies and shit. Stop trying to get people what they don't want. Um, he was saying, it was some comment made on the website that black people aren't going to get this virus. And that is simply not true. All of those sleep black people that are in church still praying to that white man up there on the cross that have Google on their phone and refuse to look up information. And they may have heard about these, you know, the Israelites. And there's some extreme camps out there. And I would suggest nobody mess with those because that's just some radicalized mess. You know, you got good people and you got bad people and no matter all walks of life. But with Google on your phone and you can sit up there and post a pic of your picture or a video of yourself twerking, but you can't look up what you what you what you're supposed to be about then you are of the world, and if you are of the world, then the Father is not in you, period, point blank. So there are going to be black people that is going to get this virus, but those are going to be those black people that are asleep, that are in those churches, that are all over the world, that are, okay, I'm doing, I'm, 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 I'm in every other nation, and I love every other nation but their own. Like Creflo Dollar, this is so absolutely ridiculous. The church is closed, but he set up a, an account on some site where you can send your tides in. Now, if you know anything about that books, you ain't supposed to be paying no tides. You're supposed to help your fellow man by giving him food and bread to help him make it through. But ain't no church function supposed to get that money. But that is what capitalism has created. On every corner in the black community, it's wine and spirits. You got a liquor store and a church. A liquor store and a church. You pick which spirit you want. You pick which spirit you want, but neither one of these spirits is the true spirit. So there are going to be black people that's going to get it. But those are the people that are asleep and of the world. But those people that are woke and awoke to the trueness of it, we see this as a plague. They've already had the rivers and the lakes turning red with blood. And now that this is all over the place and people are like, it's actually shutting down. I know exactly what this is. But all black people are not going to be exempt. Those ones that are still asleep, that are still about the world and of the world, they will get it. But I'm not worried about me because I'm way too awoke. And I know in my heart I'm not going to get it. Now, this is just a feeling I have. You do your own research, you know what I'm saying? But take it with a grain of salt. But I wanted to do this video because I wanted to touch base with you guys. And I want to know what you guys think of the beard. I'm not cutting it. I'm not cutting it. I mean, the beard on the side used to grow as long as the front. But, hey, I'm getting older, so, hey, I don't have to trim up as much. But I'm growing it out, you guys. 
But I wanted to touch base and let you guys know I miss you. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and the like button because I'm going to try to start doing it more and giving a lot more commitment to this, guys. But I wanted to talk about something I felt passionately about, and I've been thinking about this for a while and also trying to get over my anger with the YouTube format and the way things are going. But this is Intuitive Anthony. I will talk to you later, guys. And don't forget to hit the comment section below because I'm getting back in the game and I'm coming back at you. Talk to you later, guys. Peace.